The number one thing that separates you as an adjuster from everybody else, including contractors and PAs, is that you're supposed to be an expert in the policy. In this video, I chat with Corinne McBride from the policy training company, American Educational Institute, about our brand new policy training partnership with Adjuster TV Plus and how to prove that you're a high-end property expert, starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at adjustertvplus.com. Hey, Matt here, and welcome to Adjuster TV, where I share my more than 20 years of experience as a cat property IA to help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. Okay, here's me and Corinne talking about the sexiest topic in the sexiest industry, policy. Hi, Matt. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Corinne McBride. I'm Director of Marketing for American Educational Institute. Um, AEI for short. Uh, AEI was actually um, founded in 1969, so we're over 50 years old, um, and we are the premier provider of self-study insurance claims law programs and designations. Um, all of our courses are college level, and they contain work-related content, all built into a self-study format, um, which we find is so valuable and helpful for all of our students who, you know, are working full time and have family obligations. Um, they're able to complete our courses, you know, at their own time and at their own pace. That's pretty cool. So now, so as a self study program, is it kind of talk about like, from a practical standpoint, what that looks like for like, so if I want to get my property certification, um, how does it look for me? Is, there, is it all online or the books or how it Absolutely. Work? Yeah. Basically everything is, is online at your own, um, own pace. We actually give everyone their own, um, AEI student number and they log into the student portal and each of our programs, which we have a property program, which I know might be of interest to, to your folks watching. Um, it's a yeah. series of seven individual courses and each of the courses has a textbook. Um, the textbooks are electronic, um, but certainly people, if they want a hard copy version, can get a hard copy version as well. And there is a 20 question multiple choice exam at the end of each uh, test, each, each uh, textbook. Um, we actually tell our students because we really want them to read the textbook to retain what's in it and not just read it to memorize it to pass a test. So we tell them they can actually print out the test questions, uh, use their book, use their notes and go back in and um, answer their answers electronically. Um, that way they're really retaining it um, because some of the information they may be reading about may be brand new to them. Um, so it might be, you know, might take them, you know, some people tell us they, they go through, read the book end to end, and then do print out the test questions and then read it again. Um, you know, so everyone has right. different different ways that they, they uh, you know, get through the courses, but we try to make it as convenient and easy as we can for our students. Once somebody like passes the the mm -hmm. the program, and now what can they do with that credential? I guess. Sure. Kind of yeah, absolutely. So we actually have here at AEI um, three different levels of designations. So after someone earns um, their completes their first program with us, they earn their specialist designation. Um, so if someone were to complete the seven courses in the property program they would earn their PCLS designation, their property claim law specialist designation. And basically, you know, our program, particularly the property program, um, is really to provide adjusters or investigators or really anyone taking the program kind of with an understanding of the legal principles that are the foundation basically um, for handling all property claims. Um, so from the basic to most complex. So having that designation, shows the industry that you know i'm i'm knowledgeable in in claims law and these are the particular areas that that i'm you know taking taking courses in all right cool so and then it, you said that there's like multiple levels to that so if, if say they go yep. for another 
credential, what happens? Absolutely. Yeah. So if they wanted to build on, if they were to get our property program, our PCLS designation, if they wanted to move up a level um, to our property claim law associate uh, designation or PCLA, um, they would then complete our legal principles program, which is our general overview uh, claims law program. So that makes them even more marketable in the industry because they have a higher designation um, than just the PCLS. Um, and then our highest designation, our flagship designation is our senior claim law associate designation or SCLA. Um, and that requires completion of four of our six programs. Um, we have programs, legal principles, liability, property, workers' compensation, um, fraud, and automobile. So we have a lot of different options for folks depending on what areas they're looking to concentrate in. Um, and the legal principles is kind of the, the one program that um, is the general overview uh, for all different parts of claims. But then we have the more specific programs like the property and and auto and fraud and liability and work comp to build on that. So a lot sure, of different sure. options for students to take. Yeah, absolutely. And I, th I think it, it can't be really understated that the insurance policy is a contract, right? It's yes. What's it's, yes. it's, it's the, the binding language in there. So I think the, the more somebody has a grounding in general legal principles like business law, basically, um, the, the better they're going to be able to understand why they're paying for something or not paying for something as a property adjuster. And certainly, you know, I think that, you know, having multiple levels starting off with the basics and then being able mm -hmm. to like really become like a sort of a, you know, a black belt in it, yeah. so to speak, um, would absolutely benefit somebody in allowing them to move beyond just doing claims, you know, to, to maybe into, you know, a management exactly. role, yep. you know, a little bit deeper of a QA role, um, or even, I think that th th this is the kind of thing that would certainly be valuable um, in a middle, you know, director operations kind of position absolutely. for sure. Because yeah. um, because the more educated you are on, on how the policies work, then the, the, I think that the more effective a person can be, certainly. Absolutely. And we have um, people and, that take yeah. our courses that are, you know, brand new to the insurance industry. We have others that have been, you know, like you said, been in the industry for a while um, that come back and, and take our courses. Um, so really, it's it's geared for anyone really looking to advance their their claims law knowledge. And we hear that a lot from our students is that. They take our courses and um, they tell us that they're more confident speaking to other adjusters or, you know, if if they're in-house, you know, talking to in-house counsel or or even their their yeah. people that they're working with um, because they understand the law better. They understand the terminology. And, um, you know, that's great to hear that. That's basically our goal is we're helping to increase their claims professionalism while helping them be able to do, you know, their job a little easier. And, and um, so it's, I love hearing those testimonials from our our students so yeah yeah for sure and i mean and, and i i teach people you know the more you can learn about construction restoration right yeah. so in other words like not just well this is drywall and that's a stud but mm -hmm. what happens if that's been burned or has smoke on it or water stain right so what do we sure. do with that right so that's the restoration piece it allows them to much more intelligently talk to homeowners and contractors write a clearer, sharper estimate, better estimate, more accurate estimate. But then if you add in the policy piece, there are certain things, you know, there's a lot of nuance to the policy where somebody yeah. at first glance who's inexperienced may say, well, that's not covered. Right. right. But maybe it is, you know, and maybe right. there's, maybe there's, you know, a, a legal theory or there's a something in the policy that says, well, actually, you know, it is covered under these circumstances and we have those circumstances. Right. And I think being able to talk to being able to be being able to build a defensible file mm -hmm. with a very accurate estimate and great customer service, of course. And then, course. well, what happens if it goes to court um, and you got to sit there and defend that file, you know, at, on the stand, you know, then you've got some. You're not just sitting there going, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're <laughs> exactly. able to like, yeah. you know. Yeah. You're able to, to, to defend really why you, you made the decisions that you did in your file. I think it's I think this is absolutely critical. Yeah. And we potential. have throughout all of our textbooks um, just those type of examples. We have actual um, court cases and actual claims examples to really 
help our students put in perspective, you know, what they're reading. And, you know, yeah. I hear from students a lot, too, that a lot of times they'll go back and reference a particular case or something that they read about in one of the textbooks because they're working on it now. Um, so, you know, it's it's great that they have those resources and their textbooks. They can go back years later and, and even utilize them. They, they last with them forever. So, you know, yeah. having those those cases, I think, really helps helps the students. Um, and, you know, maybe it's something that they're reading about that they're not as familiar with. And they're like, oh, wow, that's how that would be handled or that's what the outcome yeah. of that case would be. So there's a lot of a lot of different ways that they can get a lot of information from these books. Yeah. I mean, just imagine sitting up on, you know, if you're sitting there in court, well, actually, you yeah. know, there is precedent in, uh, you know, 1973, <laughs> know this yeah. Thurston versus, yeah. uh, you know, Acme Insurance, they right. determined that we could pay for this or whatever. Exactly. Um, yep. No, I think that's that's super cool. Talk to us. Talk to us a little bit about how your courses are accredited. And also, I think people will be interested to know um, if there's continuing education yeah. credits for their state licensing. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So basically, AEI is a member of the um, NCCRS, which is the um, National College Credit Recommendation Service. Um, and basically what the NCCRS does is they um, evaluate training um, courses that are outside of the traditional college environment um, and they translate them into college credit equivalencies. Um, so 49 of our courses are actually eligible for college credit. Um, so wow. if someone is looking to use our courses um, for college credit, that's something that we could work with them on. Um, each of our students works directly with one of my colleagues um, because there's a different way you take the courses and things to make it eligible for college credit. Um, but we also offer continuing education credits for the adjuster license um, in many states, um, including Texas, which I know is a big one for for folks. So, yeah, once um, people take our courses and complete the exams, we will then um, submit on their behalf uh, to the particular state um, if, if it's one of the ones from our list um, on their behalf. We just need their information. Um, and that's something we, we tell them before they submit any um, test results is, is let us know that you are taking that course for college or our continuing education um, and we'll get the correct information from them. But, yeah, absolutely. A lot of our students are, are using our courses for CE, which I know is, you know, um, you're always trying to, to find as many options for that as possible. Yeah, for sure. It's one of those yeah. things you, you don't want to just leave it to the last minute, which exactly. is, you know, I always <laughs> totally did. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, very cool. Yeah. And so I, I'm really excited about kind of a little bit of a partnership that we've got going on. Um, Adjuster TV Plus is going to soon be um, showing a, a policy training that you guys put together just for us. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, my colleague Mike Mora um, is um, gonna, uh, basically our property program covers all aspects of property. Um, but what Mike is gonna do in this particular session is kind of focus on homeowners property insurance and some of the basic insurance law principles when it comes to a homeowner's contract. Um, to really, you know, just help pull out, um, you know, basic tools and things that uh, adjusters can use when they're working on claims. So um, hopefully it'll be really valuable to to folks. I know Mike had a, a great time putting it together for everyone. So hopefully it's really valuable and, and handy for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I've looked through it and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the real deal. It's, it's good. It great. Goes yeah. Structure. It talks, <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's, it's something I think is going to be extremely valuable, especially for somebody who's coming in cold. This like, mm -hmm. isn't, you know, that, that's, this is the one aspect of, you know, this kind of work, especially catastrophe, you know, and like storm damage and like property damage claims. This is what sets us apart from contractors and public adjusters and everybody sure. else is that we also have that additional policy component. And this is a, a great intro. Um, and I think it's going to be, you know, a, a really good kind of introduction to policy as a as sort of like that again that that extra piece that we bring to the table and a start into you know i i i totally would encourage anybody to to go and get you know at least the the level one mm -hmm. you know certification the uh the associate the specialist, sorry, the specialist. Yeah. yeah um because that's going to be i mean and it truthfully like i was i've been an independent adjuster for 
20 some years. And one year out of that, I went and worked as a staff adjuster, the mm -hmm. senior staff adjuster at Liberty Mutual. And very, very frequently, um, I was talking to their in-house counsel on claims. Like, I want to try mm -hmm. to figure out a way to pay for this. I get with my manager and we set up an appointment. It's a 15 minute appointment with the council. And we'd, he would, I'd send all that stuff over and he would look it over. And then when we got together, he's like, all right. He's like, I see what you're trying to do there, Matt, but we can't do that because of A, B, and C and D and E mm -hmm. and G and X, whatever. Or, or that's, you know, good catch on that, Matt. We totally can pay this. We can extend coverage there. I learned so much as a, as a staff adjuster, you're handling every possible kind of claim. Right. And it, it gives a, a, it gave me like a really strong grounding, I think, in, the policy going really deep because you got to dig into the policy on every single claim and if you don't get right. the right thing it could blow right up in your face i had right, one in particular exactly. that yep. totally blew up in my face because <laughs> everybody's got you know it's like i assumed that everybody had replacement costs on their personal property well okay. on their, their policies that they were selling it's not it's acv right okay. so it's it's not they they get paid you know half the price of the TV, $50 or whatever it is. And when they replace it for AC on ACV, they don't get the other 50 bucks right. on replacement right. costs. They do. And I was telling this, this they had a, a 40 by 60 outbuilding that burned to the ground full of every possible thing that they own, but all kinds of kids stuff, tools and, you know, Liard implements and all that stuff. It's like, oh yeah, you know, just get to put your list together. And as you replace that stuff, you know, we'll send you the second check and da 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 da. They didn't have the endorsement. Everybody oh. gets an endorsement, but they verbally declined it. Yet they have to sign a piece of paper saying we don't right. want the because we want to save thirteen dollars a year or whatever it was, God. and they didn't have it. And big trouble, big big yeah. trouble for me. Yeah, so that was oh. that's the kind of stuff Mike is going to definitely show show the viewers, yeah. um, you know, how to read it and how to utilize it, you know, in in the claim. So I, I hopefully it's really valuable because yeah, there's so many different different parts of the contract that it can get overwhelming. Um, it, Certainly. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, you miss one little thing and it can yeah, I mean it's exactly. explosion. Exactly. So, very cool. So so tell us how um we can, you know, if somebody's interested in in learning more about um your trainings and your credentials and everything, where can they go? Absolutely. Yeah. Go to our website, um aeiclaimslaw.com um or Give us a call if you want to speak to one of us um, individually, if that's easier. Um, the phone number is 800-631-8183. Um, we're located in New Jersey, so we're on Eastern Time. Um, or, you know, feel free to shoot us an email at um, AEI at AEIclaimslaw.com. Um, and I should mention, too, that, um, you know, I mentioned that we have the designations when you complete our programs, but... Um, you can also do courses individually, too. If, if you're looking to you know, kind of piecemeal courses together from certain areas, you can do that. Um, we have some people that don't necessarily come and earn the designation or it takes them a little longer because they're, you know, taking some courses in property and some courses in fraud. And then they eventually, you know, go back and, and finish the other ones. But um, whatever works for, for the student, whatever works with them and, and what they need to get out of it, um, they absolutely can can enroll that way. Very cool. Well, yeah. Corinne McBride, thank you so much for jumping on with thank me as well. Thanks for having us. Um, and thanks so much for the partnership. We're excited. There's no getting around it. You've got to know the policy. The good news is that there's a dedicated property policy training for adjusters created especially for Adjuster TV available right now inside of AdjusterTVPlus.com. Adjuster TV. You either love us or you're wrong.